is, is made out of two different types of fabric. A real strong flat flag fabric that's going to rub against the, the actual bridge when it's windy. And then the sheer fabric that allows all the wind and water to go through it. My undergraduate, I studied fiber, which was basically everything that you can do with soft materials. Um, and I've always been interested in in fabric's ability to to be make something huge and then be able to fold it up. And it has a really huge impact with color and scale right away. Is this, some, huh? is this something that you've done before, this type of installation art, or is this, I don't know, how do you describe what kind of art this is? What? Uh, who do we have here? <laughs> this is Wyatt, my son. Hey Wyatt, um, how old are you? That many? Four? Mm -hmm. Can I try your scooter out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm working on a piece, I think about, like, in this case with the stripes of thinking about um, darks and lights and warms and cools and wanting there to be some kind of balance and rhythm between them all. And then also with the sheer and opaque materials. It's kind of an intuitive, uh, intuitive randomness. Like I don't want like an orange to be next to pink because they're too similar. So I'll put a black or a gray or a blue in between. And I don't ever want to repeat that. You know, I don't want orange and blue to be next to each other twice in the same panel. So I want, you know, I put the colors that I think look nice together, but I also want there to be like, maybe a surprise on what, which color is next to which color. So that it's not a rainbow and it's not a pattern, but there is some kind of um, rhythm, you know. Do a little video as well. Well, you show this professional riggers would be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> what do these guys think they're doing? <laughs> Don't cut the wrong wire. Yeah. The bomb will go up. <laughs> Improvise their way through a lot of installs. My dad and my husband are up there securing it, and uh, they they are invested in in the safety of this project as much as I am, and. They definitely helped me engineer this project, figure out the math and the scale of how long it needed to be. Because if we were off by just a few feet, it would be too long and flop over onto the bridge. If it's not long enough, then it's got not going to clear the arches and have enough play for the wind and the light. And um, so they're a very important part of this puzzle. And then so is my mother she helped me sew it all. I have the baby, so we juggled sewing and holding the baby <laughs> while we worked. What? What happened? I can't go Like right now I'm kind of on cloud nine about this piece. It's like, it's one of the favorite things that it's, that I've ever made. And I think it really takes guts for a city and a group of people to be shown a Photoshop image of someone's idea and vision and to have enough faith and trust in that artist that to follow through with it because it's not a sculpture on the ground and it's not a mural on the wall. Um, so I feel really, really honored and lucky that people had enough faith in me to do this. It's, I want this piece to be very giving and people can, uh, you know, Hopefully look at the bridge and see it in a different, a new way and really like see how much history is there and the, the actual, the art or the arch and 
you know, the piece is so bold with color and scale, it might attract a different, um, a new attention to this, to this, uh, really great old architecture compared to, um, to some of the newer sterile things that are built.